Before the days of digital magic, people had to rely on clever film techniques and chemical processes for green screen. Now, green screen or chroma key is the ability to change the surrounding solid color in a background of a video with a motion or stationary picture. This feature allows the filmmaker to create movies and films which can give the viewer the impression that it was shot in the given background. However, in most cases, this is not true. The visual trickery we see today in TVs and movies didn't just appear out of nowhere. It had a huge evolution in the time period of filmmaking. George Méliès, a professional magician by training, first saw the new moving pictures in 1895. Little over a year later, Melies was creating and projecting his own creations. By accident, he discovered that he could use stop-motion photography to render visual tricks. In this film, he blacks out specific parts of the film and then rewinds the film and this time blacks out everything except for the parts he had blacked out earlier and thus creating a complete shot and an illusion. This technique was later used by Edwin S. Porter in 1903 for the film The Grey Train Robbery, which created the illusions of the outside world which was technically impossible to shoot with the olden cameras. Another method which was commonly used was the glass element technique or the glass shot. Introduced by Norman Dawn, he basically painted a glass with a specific background image and then blacked out the rest of the glass and replaced them later. This technique is still used in today's filmmaking. One of the most important things to realize about making films is the kind of freedom you have from time and space. What the camera sees, what's in the frame is the only thing that's important. What's outside of the frame really isn't very important to the film. However, the camera needed to stay perfectly still for the glass element technique to work and this was its greatest disadvantage. To resolve such an issue, the black screen technique was used. Here the character was shot in a black background and then the image was raised in its contrast to white and then replacing the black with something else. This technique was famously used in The Invisible Man where the actor wore a full black suit to create a mesmerizing effect. However, here too the characteristics such as shadows are lost. Besides, this technique only worked for black and white cameras. When filmmakers began to shoot in color, the three-strip Technicolor process was used. Here the effect was created by shooting against a blue background instead of black, and then three Technicolor negatives were produced which was finally combined together using an optical printer, making them into one single shot. This technique was introduced by Lawrence Butler and he won an Academy Award for the film The Thief of Baghdad. We can steal it for you. Steal? <laughs> After you do that. Little braggart, what have you ever stolen? What haven't I? Key from his glove, ring from his finger, money from his purse, the scent of a genie. And the tongue of a liar. But he who would steal the all-seeing eye from the very brow of the goddess must be neither a thief nor a braggart, but a hero. I always wanted to be a hero. Come on. Then catch on to my hair. All right, but mind you, this is not my second wish yet. Now I'm rather helping you. However, this contained the problem of time consumption due to the combination of all these shots produced. Petro Vlahos, a filmmaker genius whose work was mainly used by Walt Disney. The technique he used involved using a sodium light-splitting prism camera which separated the shots in sodium vapor lighting and color separately. This technique produced some high-quality compositing of the time. However, the disadvantage here was that there was only one of these cameras in the world and Disney owned that. Petro Vlahos was again approached by MGM this time to improve the quality of the blue screen process. Vlahos came up with a technique which was very complicated, 
where he used negatives in all red, blue and green composite and he used about 12 film composites and this process changed things hugely and was used for the next 40 years. The next big change after this was to come in digital. Using today's technology, we are able to remove any certain color digitally and replace them with a film shot. In most cases, green was used due to the fact that green was less common in day-to-day -day materials, not matching the sky blue color like the blue did, and cheaper to light also brighter in electronics. Thus the term green screen was coined for its increased use. However, other colors are also used depending on the need for the shot and the colors are used and replaced accordingly. Chroma key or digital software keys are now used to create many popular movies of today. With these tools to use, the illusion is just getting better.